My favourite perennial vegetable is definitely the globe artichoke. I think they're the most stunningly beautiful plants and I love eating them as well. You eat the sort of bit of flesh at the bottom of the, the leaf parts on the globe. They're so easy to grow. They're a Mediterranean plant and they come in all sorts of forms and varieties. They're the more rounded globe shaped artichokes and then the uh, more elongated ones. Now, a friend of mine who grows them commercially in the UK, he reckons Madrigal F1 is the best variety to grow. It's got very high yield um, and it's a nice round globe and it's not too thistly. And when you buy seeds of globe artichokes, it is much better to get F1 varieties because then you get the true plant from the seed. If you buy the open pollinated ones, which aren't F1, then you do get much more variation, obviously, in the plant. Now, some of these I have grown from seed, but I've also taken what I call Irishman's cuttings. And that is when the plant starts growing up nicely in the spring, you can just pull a little bit of a shoot to one side and cut it off just below the ground. And if you get a, a shoot that's about, you want to get a young shoot, not too big, about this big, about a six inches, eight inches, with hopefully a few roots. And then you just pot it up in a pot in a sheltered place, maybe with a bit of uh, milky polythene or something over it so it doesn't wilt. And then it will quickly take root. And I took some cuttings like that from a friend's artichoke in Ireland and brought them back here. And I've also bought plants. I bought some lovely ones in the French market because I think they have wonderful culinary varieties and I've got some nice purple ones many years ago. When you plant them you want them in a sunny dry free draining position and you can just leave them. I mean in France when they grow them commercially what they do is the clump slowly spread so if you plant them in the field they'll all start to merge and so they have these machines where they come and chop round the roots to sort of cut off the plant to stop them spreading outwards because they are worried that if they get too much vegetative growth then they won't get such big globes but the person I know who grows in commercial England doesn't bother to do that he just leaves them indefinitely in the field and carries on cutting and that's certainly what I do then it's the easiest crop and they look at their best I think about now sort of June July you see these wonderful heads and we'll probably go on cutting till early August and then they look quite manky and they start to look a bit moth-eaten and the leaves die a bit and so I cut them down to the ground and then you'll find you get a lovely fresh crop of leaves coming up in sort of October November and all through the winter you have these lovely basal leaves which look great in the garden you obviously need space, you know, these are big giants. And apart from this variety here, I've got a nice purple variety. And the purple variety, which is one that they grow commercially particularly, is called Opal. It's also an F1. And that the good thing about that is you can cut them when they're small, maybe just two, three inches in diameter, and they're more elongated. And when you cook them, you can just cut them in half lengthways and you can just steam them in butter with a bit of water and cook them like that for a few minutes and you can eat the whole plant. You don't just have to peel off the outer leaves and eat the flesh at the bottom of the leaves. You can actually eat the whole thing. Probably the best way to eat them is if you've got lots as you cook them. So I just boil them quickly in some water for about 20 minutes, something like that with a lid on. Um, and then I cut off all the artichoke bottoms and I just put the artichoke bottoms um, when they've cooled in a salad and cover with a bit of vinaigrette and they are just absolutely magnificent. So artichokes, easy, beautiful. I've got wooden finials made on top of my cloches, which I got carved to go for my cloches, which I used for a Chelsea garden one year. And I think they're lovely, but you can also dry these. So of course you could cut them now and then you, you hang them up upside down in a cool, dry dark place for a few weeks and they should dry nicely now if you want them to dry when they've come out into flower because when they come into flower they have these wonderful purple flowers emerging from the base and that's another way you can dry them so you've got the flowers and the base so whichever way and then you can put them in in containers in vases or you could spray them with gold or you could just have them sitting in a pile on the kitchen table. I think they're wonderful. So that is probably my very, very, very favorite perennial vegetable, the globe artichoke. <laughs>